in this lecture so we are being asked to print all the different paths in a binary tree so what does this mean so let's take example so we have to print all paths in a given tree so if we take like we have a tree 20 40 say 10 5 15 30 and 70 so this is a binary search tree and we are asked to print all the possible paths so how to do this so what will happen is that first we should see what are the solutions so path means uh, all the nodes list of nodes from the root till a given child so say this is a path one path is 20 10 5 next path is 20 10 15 so this is another path one path is 20 40 and 30 20 40 and 30 and one more path is 20 40 and 70 so these are all the paths in a given tree so we should note how to solve this problem so one thing that is clear is that we have to try some recursive traversal of the tree and whenever we hit a child a leaf node then we should print the whole path so I am traversing say from 20 I came so I am traversing I travel 20 I went to the left child which is 10 again it has a child so I went to 5 now at node 5 I see that okay it has no left and right child so this means I have completed a path and I should print all the nodes I have traversed so what is the thing that is required that I should have I should maintain a list of all nodes so that whenever I hit the child or the leaf node then I should print all of them but what after that so after that what might happen is that after printing the path again I go back to node 10 and I travel to the right child so again this means that the path which I am passing so now when it comes to 10 so one of its last node should be deleted or removed from the path and a new node should be added to the path so this is so we will see how to write this so let's consider the function so the function name is print path recursively and we see what are the parameters I am passing so I am passing a struct node star node so I am passing the node pointer to the function which will print for me recursively then I am passing a integer array known as path and I am passing the path length so which tells okay so I have the path and what is the path length till now so if we see so let's take one example here so our path is let's say 20 10 5 15 and 30 and 40 so we have three paths here so if we see one path is 20 10 5 20 10 15 and 20 30 and 40 so these are the different paths and let's see how our problem is executed so print path so when we will call this function so we will pass we will call it using print path recursively and i will pass the root in the main and I will have an integer array path 
and now the because the tree has not started it's at the root so the length is zero so this is what i will call with and now let's see what happens so i will call print path recursively root path comma zero so one base case is of course if the node is null so i will return so there is no path if the tree is not there there doesn't exist any path in that but otherwise if it is not null so what happens root is there it has some value then what i will do is that in the path of course so now every path has a root in it so i will have in the path 0 will now become equal to the node data of the root value of the root so let's see how the function runs here and then what we will do is that if node left is null and node right is null so this is an important point here so then we see what i have printed the path so in the path variable i have stored something and then if the node left is null and node right is null so what does this check it checks if it is a leaf node because leaf node has both the left and the right child as null so here what will i do i have an auxiliary function print path so it will print this path array it is a for loop and it will print all the values in the path array from 0 to path length minus 1 and if it is not a child leaf node then what it will do print path recursively node left then path path length node right path path length so now we should try to see it with our example tree so let's see here so we have here our tree and let's see so we uh, call print path recursively this is the root node so I pass the root node and path length which is 0 now so I come here then I see that okay this is not null so what I will do is now I will say that okay path 0 is 20 and then I will check is path is the node left and node right null so which is not true so what I will do I will see the code here and I see that okay so I will go to the else part I will call print path recursively node left node right with the path as argument so let's see we come here so I will call so print path recursively so I will call it with node left and node right both of them so what will happen now i will come here first and again i will check so if node is null so which is not the case so let's see what was the code here so it first checks if node null it returns back but if it is not null so we go there and it's not null so we will increase here what we will do is So we will have path of 1 is equal to 10 and then I check that okay is node left and node right null so no it is not so I have not reached the leaf node yet so I go here and call path print path recursively node left and node right so again I come up now to this node and what I see now is that this node is also not null so what I do is that path 2 is 5 at this node argument and now I check is node left and node right both null so this is true here so it tells me that okay I have hit the leaf node and I should print my path so what I do is that I call print all and I pass the path and length so let's see the code here so we come to the point that okay so I have hit the 
leaf node and i print path path and path length and so what happens now is that we go to this place and i print what do i print i print 20 10 and 5 so this is printed here and now what happens again so now I have printed it and I now come back to node 10 and where I have already called print path recursively node left but and here I only have now so path 2 is gone I have only path 0 and path 1 so now what will happen I call print path recursively node right and it comes to this place and now again what happens now path 2 will become equal to 15 and it sees now that okay node left and node right both are null so again it will do print all path and length so it will now print for me 20 whatever was there in the path array 20 10 and 15 now at 10 everything is done so it goes back to 20 and what happens now at node 20 so now it goes to print path so now i have even path 1 is gone here and i have only left with path 20 and i go to print path recursively node right and i come here again what i see is that okay i should add path 1 is equal to 30 now again this node left is null but right is not null so this is not a leaf node so I go to this and I call print path recursively node right and what happens here is that at this node again it adds path 2 is equal to 40 it sees that node left and node right are both null and hence what it does is that it prints the path 20 30 and 40 so these were the three different paths that were there in the tree and all of them are printed which is done using this code that we see so print path recursively we saw if node is null so of course there is no node so we return otherwise what we do is that in the path length I keep on adding whatever node I have traversed when I hit the leaf node so I print the path otherwise I keep on traversing node left and node right so this was about printing paths in tree so if you like this lecture please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can go to www.saurabhschool.org to see more such problems